Our aspiration was to create the ultimate tennis experience that feels like you're actually on the court. Physics is a crucial part of that. We wanted players not to even notice the difference between our virtual game and a real-life strike. So we aimed to deal with any situation that could occur in a game, combinations of any ball speed, spin or racket motion. Now the challenge of recreating a real strike is immense. Usually the ball is traveling at fast speeds towards a rapidly moving racket. But due to hardware limitations, there are huge gaps in the information we get. We sample the racket swing multiple times a second, and due to racket speed, two consecutive samples can be up to 25 centimeters apart. But with our custom continuous collision detection, we are able to bridge that gap. We can accurately estimate what is happening between those samples and predict each hit with precision. Early on, when evaluating our simulation, we realized that there was a huge difference between people's perceptions and objective measurements. To truly imitate reality, we needed comprehensive data on ball and racket collisions. Unfortunately, the data available in the tennis science community was incomplete and inaccurate for our needs. So we had to create our own database of measured racket and ball motion. The greatest challenge is the sheer speed at which the motion is happening and therefore capturing images with a sufficient frame rate and resolution while avoiding motion blur and distortion. The goal would be to record a sufficient amount of samples for different racket angles and setups in order to validate the model for every relevant situation. Once an adequate algorithm and workflow is established, extracting relevant data from the recordings should be down to the copying and computation time. When creating the simulation, we realized that the state-of-the-art physics engines and existing scientific research couldn't deliver the precision and accuracy we needed. So we teamed up with the Technical University of Vienna to create an immersive user experience when striking a ball in VR. The main challenge in this project is to create a collision model that is capable of real-time predictions of ball velocity and ball spin after ground and racket impact. Therefore, we have to identify relevant effects and associated parameters influencing the impact behavior. During an impact between a tennis ball and a racket, several effects occur, such as a strong deformations of the ball, vibrations of the racket, and overspin effects, to name just a few of them. All these particular processes make the impact a quite complex dynamical problem, where existing theoretical approaches are not providing sufficiently accurate models. With our mathematical model, we could easily simulate different ball types, rackets and environments. We made it work seamlessly in real-time multiplayer matches on available mobile devices, even if players were on the opposite side of the globe. As a tennis coach, what I love about playing tennis esports is my ability to coach in the app. Um, because the ball physics are so realistic, um, I was able to use my knowledge um, and transfer it to the VR environment and have exactly the same effect as it would have on the tennis court. So changing uh, the shape of the swing would translate into either more spin, more speed, um, a different direction or more height on the ball. As an ex-professional tennis player, and a long time coach uh, of many different levels, I think tennis esports is amazing. Uh, when I serve, I can replicate my spins, I can see the skid on the other side of the court. When I slice, I can do top spins, I can do drop shots, I can do everything. Um, and I think the application is only going to get better. And together, we are bringing the court to life like never before.